now that we have the basic uh, documents set up and we know how to turn on grids and change grid sizes and stuff we're just going to start to build the truck here so first thing I'm going to do is just delete uh, all of the pieces that we don't need anymore so I'm just going to drag and delete so we're going to start uh, with the rectangle too and I just want to make sure that I've got snap to grid on at this point so we're going to build this truck and it's going to take and drag a box uh, about like that most of the way across this is going to be the shell and then we'll build the cab and we're going to need to make the uh, outside of the wheel wells here so I'm going to go over to the rectangle tool and if you hold your mouse button down and let go on this side arrow you get these fly out menus which gives you options to all of the different tools so I'm going to grab the ellipse tool and what I want to do is make a circle uh, now to make a circle the easiest way is to actually hold the shift button and it will keep it in a circle no matter what size and if you hold shift alt you can lock the circle into place so that you're dragging it from the center so I'm gonna start my wheel down on one of these lines here and I'm gonna click and drag and I'm gonna hold shift alt and I'm gonna make the wheel roughly that size and I'll do the same thing over here and because I've got snap to grid on so shift and alt then the wheels are going to be uh, fairly easy to be um, to lock to the same size next I'm going to grab the rounded edge tools and so there's two ways to build and use all these tools one is to click and hold and drag and let go the other one is to just click in place and you'll get a window pop up and here's where I can decide on the width and the height of the size of the box and I can also decide on the on the rounded corner of the radius so let's say I'm gonna make the width 20 and I'm gonna make the height 30 and I want a 7 millimeter rounded corner on there and so that's what that box would look like in that case if I want to change the size of that I can grab my black selector tool and I can drag and snap that or drag that down uh, by holding the shift button you will keep the proportions the same okay and so let's say I'm going to use that one as my back bumper here something like that I think at this point I'm actually going to go and shut off the snap to grid tool so that I can make this bumper uh, a different size and width if I want so that it's no longer snapping to grid okay then I'm gonna copy this so if I take again my black selector tool and I go control C and I go control V I can paste that I can drag that into place and I think in this case I'm just going to make the front bumper uh, a little bit smaller a little bit higher there's the basic outline shape for our truck now we're going to need to do some work on that um, but that's the basic outline for our truck so I'm going to delete this extra box up here one of the uh, coolest tools I think in Illustrator is the shape builder tool so what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all of those shapes so that they're all highlighted and selected and the shape builder tool is right over here okay shift M is the keyboard shortcut so first I have to highlight everything and then I can use my shape builder tool and when I use my shape builder tool if I hold the mouse button down and drag it across different sections you'll see that it's turning it into one shape okay if I wanted to get rid of a section and I'll just show you this uh, if I wanted to get rid of the bumper part if you hold the alt button down you'll get a negative sign and I can click on that and it would get rid of that part you can also just get rid of sections of line this way as well okay but for this case we're actually adding all these because I just want to create an outline shape for the truck so we've got something like this now there's a few things that I want to do uh, to modify this I'm going to grab my pen tool 
and again if I hold down and let go on the flyout I've got my pen tool and so the pen tool is a handy tool if you're trying to draw custom shapes so for the pen tool if you click and let go and click you'll get straight lines if you click and hold your mouse you can sort of bend that line so I'm just going to go control Z get rid of that now I'm going to use this pen tool to create sort of an angled and curved piece for the front of the hood so I'm going to start by clicking out just outside and I'm going to click over here somewhere I'm going to put my pen on the line and I'm just going to click and hold and I'm going to pull down until I get sort of the curve that I want okay? and click on the arrow here and what I can see up here this is my fill and stroke area so this is the fill and right now there's a white fill on that which is why we're getting this line here so I'm just going to go and get rid of that fill okay? again to turn this into a single shape this is where we're going to use the shape builder tool again so I'm going to grab the whole thing I'm going to use the shape tool and this time because I want to get rid of something and I showed you this before is if I hold the alt button I'll get rid of that and if I hold the alt button just on that line I'm going to get rid of that okay? so our truck is starting to take shape I'm going to put a little um, I want to curve the back of this a bit too so I'm going to do the same thing here just use a little circle in the corner highlight everything shape builder tool maybe zoom in hold the alt button get rid of that and this part I can just add that together with that okay so we're getting close um, but we want to make some adjustments to the cab itself it's pretty square right now so the white selector is a select tool and kind of select all and this is a direct select tool the white arrow so with the white arrow what I can do is pick individual nodes so you'll see these little dots are called nodes and I can kind of take these nodes and I can start to adjust really any node that I want um, I can take and adjust and start to change the shape of my truck okay? now I'm going to undo that and so I've got these sort of nodes to change if I click on a node so let's say I grab this node you can move it around with your arrow keys by holding your arrow keys sometimes helps and you can change what the sort of corners look like too so if I grab and click on that corner I can sort of take and bend this till I get the shape that I want okay? uh, you know the more you pull these out the more curves you get it doesn't really matter so I might want to do that here just to smooth this out a bit and maybe move that down and just curve my truck so I can see here that I've actually got an extra line here so I'm just going to go and delete that line okay so now let's say I'm going to grab my pen tool and I'm just going to make the window okay, I'm sort of hold and click okay, and again I can use my white selector tool and just sort of shape that the way that I want it okay. the exact shape is doesn't really matter at this point you can add nodes so if you need to uh, add extra curves you can click and just add nodes which allows you to organize the shape a little bit differently okay. so this is now the outline shape of our truck and the last bit we're going to do is just sort of fill in the insides of different pieces so uh, the laser as I said works on color things that are black it's going to kind of engrave and things that are white uh, or have a red line around them they're going to it's going to want to cut out okay? so I'm going to engrave the window so I'm going to click on the window go up to the fill and make the window black the outline of the truck itself we want to cut out and we want to go up into the here the outline stroke and select RGB red and the size of the uh, stroke is critical and it's a 0.5 stroke if it's a thicker stroke than that the laser won't recognize it to cut it out and so you want a 0.5 of a 
point or a half a point line or stroke width on the outside of this object or anything else that I wanted to cut out. Next we're going to work on the wheels.